What's up my meatballs? It's Aaron at Mar. Welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we got the Spiritual Stone of Water, thus completing every spiritual stone that there is to have. But this time we are going to be doing some side stuff with our newly, uh, newly acquired, uh, boomerang. And apparently that wall is made of solid, like, I don't know, like metal. And apparently so is my boomerang because it's making a clanging noise. Anyways... Uh, we're here at Lon Lon Ranch to pick up two gold sculptures. The first one is way up here. Alright, let's lock on and use our new boomerang to grab the token. Alright, now we want to head over way, 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 way over here. And while we're heading over there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, d just tell you guys what this episode is going to be. How this episode is going to play out. There's going to be a lot of hopping over the uh, the entire... Uh, I guess country or land of Hyrule, I guess you could say. Um, because there's a lot of stuff to do in a lot of different areas, so there is going to be a lot of uh, different cuts to different places. Um, so I hope you guys will bear with me with, bear with me on that, because um, because there is a lot to do. There are a lot of gold sculptures and heart pieces to pick up, and it's going to require us to... Oh crap, there's a bird coming. Oh. It's, it is going to require us to travel all around Hyrule, so... Um, I do hope you, uh, I do hope you forgive me for, um, for the sort of, uh, montage, uh, episode, if it were. Alright, so now that we have gotten that in Long Long Ranch, I'm going to meet you guys over by Kakariko, um, to get our next, uh, thing, I guess you could say. Thing. Alright, our next destination is right here, by this lone tree. If we place a bomb near this tree, and we'll get these uh, style children as well, a hole appears! And if we drop down the hole... Surprise, surprise! There's a cavern! And, oh crap. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this guy out first. Alright, and we're gonna need our boomerang here, because where there is a regular sculptula, a gold sculptula is not far behind! Alright. So there is that gold sculptula. All right. All right. So now I'm gonna meet you guys back in Kakariko Village for our next item on the list. And now that we have 30 gold sculptulas, 34 to be exact, we're able to um, redeem the next prize. We could have gotten it back when we had 30, but uh, it would have been way less convenient. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. The easily the most useful reward we get the giant's wallet now we can carry the max of 500 rupees Ooh, that is going to be helpful I'll, I'll tell you I tell you what I don't know why I just pulled on a country accent there all right so now that uh, we, we got that out of the way we want to go to the graveyard and I'm going to tell you ahead of time you're going to want to be here between the hours of 18 18 it sounds weird saying 18 o'clock and 21 o'clock but um, in in game it goes by 24 hours just to make it easier. Um, the easiest way to tell this is if you talk to the guard at the entrance of Kakariko, he'll tell you what time it is. Um, so you'll know that uh, it's pretty much uh, 18 o'clock is when the rooster or when uh not when the rooster crows when the um when it be t when it turns nighttime. So basically when the drawbridge goes up, that's when you can it's safe to come in here and do this. And this is Dom Pay's stuff. Uh, Oh my gosh! Are whole holy crap? Are you what? Are you are you being serious right now? Oh my gosh! This must be the luckiest Ocarina of Time file on in existence. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Guys, this is completely random. Getting this heart piece is completely random. I I am speechless. Getting this heart piece is completely random. It usually takes people. Anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to get this because he just takes his time. All either you end up wasting their rupees, and they have to go and get more. And I got it on my first try. <laughs> that 30 
there's oh my gosh there's oh i'm totally keeping that in there i was gonna cut away but oh no i, I was being silent because i forgot to get more rupees oh my gosh Oh my gosh, that is awesome! <laughs> oh, that is awesome! Oh man, that's the second awesome that's happened. First was the fish, now was the, this heart piece. Oh man, that's great. Alright, so now that we have the boomerang, we're able to get this gold sculptula. Gold sculptula number 35. Oh, I, I can't believe that. That is awesome. Alright, so now we've done everything we... Actually, no, we haven't done everything we can in the graveyard. Oh, I cannot get over that. Literally the first try. Usually you get nothing. Oh, that... Oh my gosh. That is great. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and plant a magic bean here. Link, you're facing the wrong way, fool! Oh, I guess he pooped out the bean that time. Alright, so we've planted that, and there's one more bean we want to plant, which is in... Death Mountain Trail! More specifically, right in front of Dodongo's Cavern. We are going to want to plant this magic bean. Um, Link, you're right next to a... a th okay, so Link's, Link doesn't notice when he's right next to this, the, the soft soil, but he'll, go, he'll do it from behind. Look at that. Oh, 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 man. You got some magical turds there, Link. Alright, this isn't going to turn into a, a disgusting episode. Alright, so now that, we've, uh, now that we've gotten that out of the way, what we want to do is head over to somewhere that is very familiar, but very... Uh, uh, it's been a while since we visited there, so let's go ahead and uh, go right there. Are you kidding me, you Goron? That's right, we're back in Kokiri Forest, visiting our old friend the Deku Tree, except now he's all gray and gross, because he's kind of dead. So let's go inside of his body! Yeah! That's what's awesome! Grave digging! Well, we just got done grave digging with Dompe, so I guess we're gonna be uh, corpse digging now. Ha 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 ha! Alright, so remember back in, like, episode 2 or 3, I believe, uh, there was a, um, uh, what's it called? A room that we could not access because we didn't have the proper item. Well, that item, I that item is the bombs. That item is the bomb, I, I guess. It's. The bombs is. Uh, I'm not gonna get into English. Anyways, so, um,. I, I guess right now is the, the good, good enough time as any to show off Ferore's wind for the first time. Um, since we'll be able to use it to teleport back to the beginning. So what we do is we cast a spell. And I have to say, for one of the most underused spells, that's pretty cool. I, I That is pretty cool. Alright, so now we have the spell used. So now let's go ahead and find the room that uh, we need to access, which is over here. And we'll go ahead and drop down after we climb up. Sort of getting ahead of myself. Drop down here. And it should be somewhere over here. I'm stupid. I jumped down the hole when I went into the wrong hole. We're supposed to go into this hole right here. Oh gosh, I'm retarded. Uh, that's what you get for sometimes being ill-prepared and sometimes just not remembering things altogether. Alright, so now do you remember this room? Over here is where we want to go. Alright, so go ahead and grab the bomb. Take out this uh, Deku Baba at the same time. What? Come on, bombs. You need to, you need to step your, your explosion game up. Alright, now we can enter through the door. And just as always, when there is a normal Sculptula present, the Gold Sculptula is not far behind. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the boomerang. And there we go! Alright. So, now we can go ahead and exit. Crap. I can go ahead and exit this dungeon. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and use Ferore's Wind again. So we use the spell. And it gives us two options. We can either return to the warp point or dispel the warp point in order to create a new one later. So we're going to go ahead and return to the warp point. And get one of the coolest returning animations that there are. Alright, and that's how Ferore's Wind works. I didn't mean to cast it again! Dang it! Ah. Uh. Well, there goes all my magic. I'm pretty sure that used up. I probably got like one spell left. Alright. Didn't mean to use that, but at any rate, 
now we're out of Kokiri, or now we're out of the, the Great Deku Tree. And we're gonna go ahead and wanna make it nighttime! You know what that means. Gold Sculptulas. Alright, so, now that we've made it nighttime, there are Gold Sculptulas we can get both in, um, what's it called? Yeah, and what's it called? Isn't that what, it, isn't that what it's called? What's it called? Um, there are both, there are, whoa, screen lag there. Um, there are gold skulls just, like, oh, that, that totally made me lose my train of thought. There's gold skulls just to get both in Kokiri Forest and in the Lost Woods, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So first grab that and that. Do the bug trick, as always. Alright. Come on, Mr. Gold Sultula. There we go. Alright. And plant the magic bean. Link, you're stepping on life! Stop stepping on nature! Alright. Alright. So the next thing that we want to do is head over to the Lost Woods. I don't know where I'm going. Alright, head over here to the Lost Woods. And I wonder how it feels that uh knowing that I'm gone. I wonder what these I wonder what these Kokiris think of me. They're probably talking bad about me, like, oh look at that guy. Look at that guy. He's got a fairy. Now I think it's Mr. Big Shot. He's gonna go ahead and leave Kokiri Forest, think he can take on the world. Well, I'm gonna stay where it's safe. Well, I say to that Whatever that bub kiss, whatever that term is, I don't even know. Alright, so first things first, we wanna head over this way. Alright, let's go ahead and do the bug trick again. Face this way so I make sure they don't uh, fall off the edge. I'm not sure if that it's possible for them to drop off the edge, but I don't want to take any risks. Alright, there's the bug out of the way, quick! Oh, that would have totally hit us. Probably knocked us off. Alright, and then... Plant a bean. Alright, so now we want to head back to the entrance. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys ahead of time that I am using a guide for this because this is sort of a one-time thing, so I don't really exactly know always where to go. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, admit my shame now. I'm using a guide to know where to, to go in the forest. Um, and I'm going to put the instructions on the screen for you as well if you're following along. So what we want to do is from the entrance from Kokiri Forest, we want to take a right. And then we want to take a left. And then we want to take another right. And we want to take another left. And you ready for this? We're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to go straight. And hold on to your boots because we're going to be going left again. And there is a boulder. We want to take that boulder and blow it up. And there should be a hole here. Yes, there is. When we drop down... We have two business scrubs. So the first one will sell us... Let's see what he sells. I surrender! To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku Nuts. But it'll cost you 40 rupees. That's definitely worth the deal. Alright. And what does this other one sell? This one probably sells crap. Alright, you win. In return, I will sell you Deku Seeds. Heck no. Alright, so we got that upgrade. It was funny how Link was caught in the animation, so he was sort of shorter than usual. Alright. And for the final thing we want to do, is we want to head all the way out to Hyrule Field. So I'll meet you guys there in just a second. Alright, we are here. This is in the southwest area of Hyrule Field. This is right by Lake Hylia. If you were to ever want to access this from uh, from Hyrule Field instead of through Zora's Domain or one of the warps, uh, like the um, uh, well, the warp in Zora's Domain is the only one there. So I was thinking of the other warp where we go from Kokiri Forest to Zora's Domain. I'm sorry, I that, that was my fault. Anyways, what we want to do is bomb right here. Oh crap! And a hole appears. These bombs are some destructive things. Alright, so if we avoid this business scrub, or pretty much, like, attack him, I guess. What does he say? 
All right, you win. In return for sparing me, I will sell you a piece of heart. One piece, 10 rupees it is. What a steal. Look at that. 18 rupees. 18 rupees out of 500 total is pretty hard to... Like, it's pretty low uh, fraction. But he sells us a piece of heart for 10 rupees. And with that, we have completed another heart container. All right. So next up, what we want to do is... Whoa, what the heck am I standing in? This is kind of gross. Alright, enough dilly-dallying. This video is getting long enough. What we want to do is head up to Lake Hylia. So, if we backflip over these. And climb up this ladder. We'll be in Lake Hylia. And we're only going to pop in for just a minute. So it won't be too much of a uh, waste of time. I, al I also want to take this time to apologize for the length of this video, but I didn't want to take two episodes to, uh, to, to, you know, get all of the upgrades that are available to get. And here we go, we get to get a little intro cutscene from, uh, from entering, uh, Lake Hylia from, from Hyrule Field. That's the only time we can get the, uh, that little cutscene. And we want to make it night, so let's go ahead and make it night. So yes, I wanted to just uh, get all of the side stuff we can do out of the way in one episode. So for those who are following along, it, it they get more side stuff done at once. But also for those who are just watching this LP for you know nostalgia's sake or for the story, to um to be able to enjoy it without having to sit through th wait three episodes, you know, skip a few days of watching videos, um or watching this let's play anyways. Um, not that I'm like huge anyways, but but enough down downing myself. So that um, so, so that they they can get back get on with the story. So that's that's why I'm uh, doing this for this particular reason. All right. So now that we've gotten uh, we got Gold Skull Chill 41 while we were here. So now what we want to do is head to a new area. So I will meet you right outside that area. Um, I hate how the camera turns around. Link can't ever face you. So, um, I'll meet you guys right outside that area before we enter it. So, see you guys right now. Look at these rocks! They're praising me! I am their savior! I am their worshipping... Whatever they're worshipping... I don't know, their idol. Alright, so we are in the very west of Hyrule Field. Right outside the new, uh, the new area we're going to be visiting. But before we do that, we're going to be placing a bomb in the center of these things. And center... I'm sorry, my worshippers! I'm sorry! No, there are two of you left. There are two of you left. Yes, two of you left. See ya. All right, so we entered the hole. Lots of things. First thing we want to do, lots of things, lots of like cobweb type things. We want to do is use Din's fire. And it will burn every cobweb in here. Oh, and make that thing react. Well, that was weird. Alright, so there's a cow here if you would like um, some milk. You just, remember, you can just play upon a song if you want milk, and the cow will give it to you. And more importantly, we have a gold scotula! Alright, grab the... I'm so bad at that item. If, if the menu screen was was a game, I would lose at it, because I'm just so bad at, at that. Alright, what is over there? A big gold sculpture is over there, or a big regular sculpture is over there, and let's go ahead and hop back up. They're back! My worshippers are back! Yes, hey guys, my worshippers are back. They are back. Alright, looks like those two are very good at procreating, so let's kill the rest! Alright, so we want to want to- hey, what are you doing, Link? No one told you to climb on the fence? How are you walking on this paper-thin fence anyways, Link? Look, it's literally not there anymore. It's physically not there. Link is standing on nothing. Look at that! That, that is awesome! N64 graphics at its finest. Or at their finest, rather. Okay, so now what we want to do is enter the new area. It's a shame that I have to make it nighttime so the beautiful music stops. 
But yes, this is Gerudo Valley and probably has the greatest music in this entire game, as many a fan will uh, tell you. But we have to make it go away. So sad, so sad. Alright, but as you can see, there is a gold sculpture here. We won't be coming back here till much later in the game, so you better enjoy it while you can. Alright. Alright. So, there's our next gold sculpture. And the last thing we want to do is. Right here. Grab this Kuko. And if we go towards the edge, we can see that there is a crate there. A large looking uh, uh, a little crevice where the crate is we want to f we want to land over there so what we do is jump across and hope for the best hope for the best hope for the best please land please land please land please land oh we totally made it we totally made it all right all right land nice and s nice and softly so what we want to do is no all right first we want to do la place this down roll into this pick this up all right we have to reset the timer it takes for them to fly away so put it down Grab that. There, there's a piece of heart. And grab this, grab this. Quick, 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 No, 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 no! Luckily, that Kuko respawns. Oh, I was so close, too, and then I just completely fell off. You wore back at Lake, Lake Hylia for that, so it's not too far to walk. But still, it's annoying to have to do it again. To walk all the way back here again. Alright, but now that we've uh, gotten that one thing, the heart piece that's over there, it makes landing over here that much easier. Because all we gotta do is land here and float down. And I believe we should be able to make it. Should I risk it? Let's risk it! Yeah! We totally made it. No! No! What? No! 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 <laughs> No! No! <laughs> oh my gosh. For some place with such great music, this is so frustrating. Ugh. I promise I will get it this time. This time and this time alone will be the time it takes for me to get that. Kuko, come here. I'm not letting go of you ever. Ever. You hear that? You hear me? Never. Never letting go. Never. I will float down here to the death. As long as I make it down here. That guy with the. That cow could kill me for all I care. As long as I make it. Alright, I'm dropping. Right against the wall. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh crap, no, no, no. This is what happens when you hit a Kuko too much. No, oh my gosh, I'm just screwing myself over so much. All these Kukos fly out of everywhere and hurt you. And your shield doesn't work. And neither does your sword. Alright, hopefully, I'm hoping they go away soon. If I, if I survive. If I survive. I've got two fairies too, so if I die, they should revive me. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, that's it! Yeah, that's it! That's it! That's it, I survived! I survived! Alright, so what do you say? Why did you come all the way down here? What? You were just about to ask me the same thing! Well, now you're down here, you may as well make the best of things. So there's a cow if you want milk. And here... Uh, what's in here? A rupee. Have fun with that. Alright. Oops. Alright. And, of course, a gold sculpture is here. Oh, man. This video... It's, oh, crap. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, good. This video is going to be so long. I apologize. I apologize so much. Alright. Alright, so there's that. Alright. Plant the bean. Alright. 
And head down here, over here, down, 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 over here to the waterfall. Alright, if we look right behind the waterfall, classic Zelda, there's a ladder here, which means there's a secret cavern behind here. So, if we climb up... Slowly climb up. We get a piece of heart. Alright. And with that... There's one last thing I forgot, so I'm gonna meet you guys back in the Lost Woods. Alright, so from here in the Lost Woods, this is a warp to, uh, right in front of the entrance to Zoro's Domain. Right from here, we want to go to the left, and then to the left again. Instead of going straight like we did before to get to that other place, we have a secret meadow here. And there is a Deku scrub, there are several Deku scrubs here who will sell us things, but that's not important. What's important... Let's get this out of the way. Oh, come on. Alright, get him out of the way. He's not important. Oh, I don't want to buy whatever you're selling. Alright. Whoa, did your Navi like, glitch out there for a second? Dang, that was weird. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and plant this. Grab one, grab one, grab one, quick. There we go. Alright, and there's a gold sculpture lot. I feel like at this point, this is just expected of us, so... Alright, and then go ahead and plant the magic bean. That's sort of a stand-in for every soft patch of soil we find. Alright, and that's it. This is probably one of the longest episodes I've ever recorded. I don't know how long it's going to be when you see it, but right now, it is currently at 54 minutes long. That's how long I've been recording all of this side stuff. So next time on Let's Play Legends of the Ocarina of Time, we are going to visit Princess Zelda, now that we have all three of the spiritual stones, and we're going to go and see what the next plan of action is. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you then. Have a great day.